Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. You can easily get a screenshot on Windows 11 with Snip and Sketch. It's something that I get asked all the time, but also there's a part of this that some people uh, have a hard time understanding um, where it saves to. And this is the uh, little tricky part because people are searching for a folder where that's not exactly what's happening. So for example, say that you have anything on the screen. I'm going to just like, you know, bring up a web page. And in this place or in whatever is on the screen, I would like to maybe um, take a screenshot of a part of the page or all the screen, depending on what I do. There's an app called Snip and Sketch. So what you could do is simply go to the search and type Snip and you'll see snipping tool. This is what you can use. It has different modes of taking a screenshot or a snip of the screen. Rectangle mode, window mode, full screen mode, and freeform mode. What's the difference? Rectangle mode will give you, as it says, a rectangle that you choose the size. So if you keep it rectangle, What's going to happen is that the snip and sketch, when you click new, will give you this, a little cross, and there you click, you hold, and you move, and you go over where you want to take that snip. So that's the rectangle mode. And here it is in the snipping tool. You can here save it to your PC with the little disk icon on the upper right. You can do what you want. You can actually right click on it from here, copy it, and if you need to paste it somewhere, for example, if I use Word, I can actually go here and type Word, go in Word, type a new document, and since I copied it, I can right click once again and paste it. And so here we go. We're now pasted here as a picture, of course. So don't save. The other mode of Snip and Sketch, of course, like I said, is the snipping tool, actually, um, is the window mode. What it does is it will take the new skip or the new uh, snipping or the new screenshot, if you want, from the window that you're actually in. So this is how it's going to work, window snip. So it just takes a snip of the window once you click. Here we go. And of course the other modes are full screen. So the window mode gives you only the window but the full screen mode will give you really the full screen which is everything on the screen including the taskbar where window will be only the window that you are actually watching the right now. So full screen mode will give you with the taskbar, the icons at the bottom. So there's a little difference here. It gets you everything on the screen. And the free form, of course, depending on what you have to do as a, um, you know, a screenshot, will let you simply do whatever shape you want. So for example, say that I want to have just that part here. It's a weird shape. You know, I could use rectangle, but here is, I'm going to use free form mode. And I'm going to go like this. So I'm going to type, click new. And I'm going to go like this. Say I want to have something weird. There we go. And that gives me this free form uh, snipping of the screen or screenshot of part of the screen if you want. So the snipping tool, really, really cool little uh, tool if you want to have some um, snip of the screen and you can add of course delays up to 10 second delay if you want in the uh, uh, snipping tool for um, you know giving you time to 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 be um, correct and to have the correct snip or you know decide on what you're going to do and of course this gives you a great option and you have different settings different options available um, if you want you have the print screen shortcut that you can actually um, configure to make sure that you use the snip tool when you use the print screen options and so on. 
There's automatic copy to the clipboard. You can save the, the snips automatically if you want, if you can ask you to save them and so on. So, um, you know, different little things, but a cool little uh, feature to know. Uh, the snipping tool in Windows 11 is really nice. Of course, you have the equivalent in Windows 10 also that has pretty much all the same options. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.